Welcome back. I'm Marie Zeitner with the Reaver Beat. We begin this week by honoring our veterans. Most people remember our service men and women around the holidays, but it's important to remember the sacrifices they make every day. The Vets Club on campus hosts a ceremony for our veterans on Monday, November 12th in honor of Veterans Day. A crisp, cool morning. People gather for the Veterans Day ceremony in front of the flagpole. It begins with the raising of the American flag as they recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Founder of Vets Club on campus, Matt Clark, takes the podium. He describes the life of a person in the military. Parents have to miss birthdays. They miss all the dance recitals. They miss all the time with the children growing up. That first tooth is gone. The first time they're going to be walking. And those things you can't get back. You have to sacrifice those different things. Mariana Hills presents Mariana, a quilt of honor to local here. veteran Pat Moore. He is currently a member of the American Legion Post Number 2 after serving 23 years in the military. Taps play to end the Veterans Day ceremony. The Vets Club is new to campus. It stands for Veterans Eager to Succeed. Veterans taking classes can join the club at any time. With the holidays coming up, food shelters need donations now more than ever. Iowa Western gets involved by hosting a campus-wide food drive. IWTV student Jade Allen has the story. To you and me, a can of food is nothing special. But to those in need, a can of food can make a world of difference this holiday season. I saw that there were a lot of sales going on at Hy-Vee and also I'm in the Human Services Pre-Social Work major and for my Agency and Community Resources class I visited a homeless shelter earlier this year and so I really wanted to donate. Iowa Western student Caitlin Wiley is one of several students who are helping those less fortunate by donating to the food drive. Iowa Western Student Life has been doing the food drive since 2005. We've always done it for Mom's Place here in Council Bluffs uh, to benefit them. Uh, they have a great facility for families and, and you know, people that are in need of food on a daily basis. This campus-wide food drive helps students see that making a difference can be easy and inexpensive. Students donate goods such as canned fruits and vegetables, noodles, rice, and coffee. So far we set a goal for uh, 2,000 uh, food items, but um, so far we've actually exceeded that. In times like these, every little bit counts, and that's what Adam Long says this food drive is all about. It's really, you know, just to give back to the community. Uh, you know, it's, it's a great partnership to have as Iowa Western and, and Mom's Place. And done it every year, and uh, I think it helps the community a lot. For the Reaver Beat, I'm IWTV student Jade Allen. Mom's Place in Council Bluffs helps the homeless and the hungry. It's the first facility of its kind in southwest Iowa. If you aren't hungry yet, then this might get your taste buds going. Iowa Western culinary arts students create a special dinner, and it's not your average meal. IWTV student Shanti Shaknoza has more. Iowa Western School Cafeteria turns into a five-star restaurant for the night, complete with the ice sculptures. Tonight we have a gourmet dinner. Twice a year, culinary arts students create a gourmet dinner and serve it to the public. The theme this year is autumn harvest from the field to fork. The students serve soup, salad and several courses to the hungry customers. This food event is a fundraiser, helping students work hard to pursue their goal. It's how we uh, fund our trip to Chicago. At the end of every year, the second year students get to go to Chicago on a trip. So uh, this is one of the things that we do to raise money for that. More than 200 people fill the dining room to get a taste of the student's supper. And the future chefs hope to learn more during the Chicago field trip. Well, we go to the National Restaurant Association food show, and it's a lot of fun. They get to experience all kinds of different aspects of the food business and uh, get to spend some time together before they go on into their lives. This is just the beginning for the young talents. Each meal made and served 
helps them explore career opportunities in the future. For the Riverbeat, I'm Shanti Shachnoza. The Chicago trip is a goal for the students of the Culinary Arts Program. They go to the National Restaurant Association to learn more about the industry before they take on the real world. Iowa Western is one of the fastest growing community colleges in the nation. Why do students want to continue their education here when they have so many other choices? First year students tell us what they like best about Iowa Western. They make up half the school. First year students at Iowa Western are working hard to make their dreams a reality. Teach high schoolers, teach high school choir. Choosing a major to study in college plus deciding where to study can be tough, but Iowa Western is an easy choice for these students. I thought school was just going to be boring, doing homework, but there is activities and stuff that you can do and it's just fun. I actually love Iowa Western. I mean, I didn't think it was going to be like a big deal like UNO or the bigger universities, but it's a lot more relaxing and a lot less stress. At first I thought I was going to be a complete loner, but Everyone is completely nice and they just come up to you and start talking to you so you won't feel alone. Making friends and having easy classes are among the top preferences at Iowa Western, but the best thing students like... I can go from one side of the campus to the other in 10 minutes. That's perfect. It's small, that if I have to park across campus, I still don't have to walk very far. I have Stewart Hall. I have half my classes are in that area. That's nice, so I don't have to travel all the way across the campus and back. I love that you can walk everywhere. <laughs> like, it's all, it's not like super close, but it's close enough that you can walk from one place to the next in like five minutes. The biggest impression of Iowa Western? Good program, great campus. Let's go. Go Reavers! Registration for next semester is going on now. Be sure to meet with your advisor to get signed up. And thank you for watching. Make sure to like us on Facebook. You can find us at facebook.com slash Reaver Beat. For the Reaver Beat, I'm Marie Zeitner. See you on campus.